We're going to talk about it. Hi, my name is Casey Dreams. I'm a music educator and composer, and on this channel, we talk about things that help your music program thrive. Quickly, I want to say a shout out to Kidder Music for letting me take this home and test this out for you guys. I will be the first to admit that electronics have never been well received in music. When the electric guitar came out, everybody said no one's gonna ever use this thing it sounds like garbage no one likes it and then of course all these people came around innovated it and made it this amazing instrument that so many people love playing i think that people oftentimes judge a new product with a very this needs to be a jack of all trades sort of mindset well if it's not doing everything that a regular saxophone can do then i don't want it i understand why people are like that but i think they need to understand there are applications for some of these things just like an electronic drum set I played for a musical theater one time that was in a very small area overpowered all the people and they weren't mic'd so I used an electronic kit because I could put on an amp, I could turn it to the exact sound I wanted. Most people might say it doesn't feel the same. The reed isn't really vibrating. You don't even have to have the reed on it to play it. People I know are going to say it doesn't sound real, it sounds electronic. And one of the only real complaints I have about it is that there's a little joystick on the back of it which can control the pitch bend. It's in kind of an awkward spot. You have to kind of jam your thumb pretty far over when usually I'd have it more centered. They make another version of it. Maybe they'll change that. Everybody can think of the negatives on their own. Let's start looking at what is actually positive about this thing. First off, you actually do have to tongue this instrument. It also has volume control with how much air you put through it. So kids can play crescendos. kid wants to practice, they can just plug in headphones and play without disrupting anybody. That's something that no saxophone can really do, and I've seen those big gigantic saxophone mutes where you just basically put it in a box. Nobody wants one of those. You can plug these into an amp, so if you need a kid to be louder, you can get them to be louder. This thing is going to always be in tune, and if you have one kid playing one of these, it might help the rest of them around them to hear that pitch and keep themselves in tune as well. It can save you money in the long run. Less repairs, there really isn't anything that's going to happen to it to cause it to have the keys out of whack. It does come with a mouthpiece and a reed. If anything ever happens to them though, you don't need to buy anything expensive. Only concern I do have is how well Yamaha is going to be able to fix these instruments. So if something goes wrong with it, how long is the warranty going to be? I don't know. I would hope that even in 10 years, it'll still be working. Hopefully, if something does happen to it, Yamaha will take care of it. I don't think it's for everything. You're probably not going to give this to your principal alto sax player in your, in your top band and have them play it. But there are some other good uses. As someone who runs a big band out of my garage with a $0 budget, I am always on the quest to find the holy grail, a cheap berry sax that is actually a good quality. This actually can do a really good berry sax sound. It's only $800, which is insane to me. Not only that, but if I needed someone to play tenor and we didn't have a tenor, you can switch this to tenor, you can switch to soprano. You have a whole entire sax arsenal at your disposal with just this one instrument. And with an amplifier, you can turn this thing up as loud as you want. So if you are one of those people that you need a jazz band and you have a kid that you can put on this instrument to play berry, because the berry is majorly heavy, you know, for a young kid, it's hard to put that much air into an instrument. They can do it on this and you could get a really good full sound with your band. If you have a small school and you don't have a large pep band, this thing could really save your butt. It has settings of a whole entire sax section or several saxes at once, so you can go I think this could also be a really good use for a student who maybe has injured their mouth or has had problems with air support recently. I've known some people who have played an instrument for a long time, busted their lip, playing just became instantly not possible for them. This would be a really good solution for them to try out. It could also be a really good use for a kid who maybe starts late. Maybe an eighth grader comes in and says, hey, I really want to be in band. It's going to be a lot easier to learn because they don't have to worry about trying to get in tune. I understand there's lots of people who would probably say, no, that's not right. You can't do that. That's not acceptable. Get why people feel that way. But 
You know, a lot of people start riding a bike with training wheels. Not necessarily is training wheels, but for some uses, it could be. And maybe that could inspire them to work really hard and then get into playing a real saxophone once they're ready. Some other cool features that I probably will never use, but they are there. You can adjust to make alternate fingerings. There is an app that you can download so you can do all that. Adjust the sound. Pretty interesting dispenser in here that lets out all the condensation. It's really affordable and it's got a pretty good sound. people's thoughts on this because this is not a normal thing and I know that it's something that probably a lot of people are just gonna not even consider. Once again I want to thank Kidder Music. I also want to thank Mr. BJ Price because BJ came in and was showing me videos of this and saying hey I think I fixed your berry problem. I have to say man he's really turned me on to this thing. Thanks guys for watching. Have a great one. Bye.